hey guys welcome to the channel it's sylvia here in today's tutorial i'm going to be showing you guys how to make this cute backless pattern neck top if that is something you are interested in learning how to make keep on watching For this tutorial, we're going to be needing office pins, two yards of bias tape to create the ropes, half a yard of fabric of choice, and half a yard of lining. Then you're going to need your chalk, scissors, and tape. So I went ahead to spread out the fabric and marked out 60 inches by 16 inches square. Then at this point you just want to cut it out along the marking. After cutting it out, you want to cut the same thing on the lining. To attach these two pieces together, you have to sew a line around the edges of the square. After sewing this, what it should look like, then you want to go ahead and double fold the edges with half of an inch or quarter of an inch rather. Make sure to secure your double fold with office pins to ensure easy sewing. When you're done pinning, this is what it should look like. Now you want to sew along the edge of the fold. After sewing, this is what it should look like. Go ahead and press. Then to create the tunnels, for the upper part you want to fold it half an inch and secure with a pin. For the sides, you want to double fold half inch twice. Mm -hmm. 
repeat on the other side. So now you want to stitch along the edge of the fold to create a half inch tunnel. I went ahead to stitch mine after stitching. You want to go ahead and take your two yards of bias tape and fold it inwards like you see me doing here. After folding, you pin it in place and sew along the edge all the way down to the end of the bias tape. After sewing, this is what it should look like. So now to take this through the tunnels, you need a safety pin. So you use a safety pin to take it through this direction. After that, we want to take the ropes through each tunnel, each side tunnel, with a crisscross effect, taking the right hand rope to the left side and the left hand rope to the right side to create that crisscross effect at the back. Okay, so since I couldn't find my safety pin at this point, I decided to use scissors to push the rope through the tunnel. Just make sure you get your safety pins before you start doing this because I had a lot of difficulties trying to pass this through with the scissors. I had to redo this multiple times before you successfully pass through. So using a safety pin is much more easier. So after this final part, this is how the top turned out, really cute, don't mind that rough edge of that bias tip there, I later went ahead to fix it off camera. So that's it for this tutorial guys, until next time, bye.